The return of a Benelli tornado with a V4 engine is therefore not so absurd and more than for reasons of numbers. It would certainly make sense for the positioning of the Passaro brand and for enlisting QJ among the most prestigious manufacturers. Since the Benelli brand took over management, Kai and Jiang has made great strides and we've all noticed it, especially those who initially saw the new Chinese ownership more as a threat than an opportunity. After the commercial successes of TRK and Liancino, every initiative concerning the historic brand is followed carefully. The news leaked in the last hours of the news can therefore only arouse a certain curiosity application for a patent in China by Kai and Zhang in concerning the design of a motorcycle engine four cylinders with nine tidic V arrangement. An engine whose sporting nature was enough to spark the discussion on a possible and sensational return. That of the Benelli tornado of which some virtual concepts have already been circulating for some time. From the diagrams filed in the patent application we can see, in addition to the cylinder banks apparently arranged in a 90-degree V, that each has two chain-driven overhead camshafts and four valves per cylinder. You can't see it but the cooling will certainly be liquid and obviously there will be electronic injection. The engine scheme is therefore quite conventional for a V4 and it is more the lubrication and distribution circuits that are the subject of the patent application in which, however, no mention is made of data such as bore and stroke. The 1000cc engine capacity is therefore a hypothesis deemed plausible, and we can hazard a power of up to 200 HP in line with the best superbikes. The return of a Benelli powered by this V4 is therefore only a hypothesis which, however, is corroborated by the presence on the net of the renderings we show you, some of which are attributed directly to Kai and Zhang by the Chinese media. It would be a sensational return which, however, moves away from what has been the most recent tradition of Benelli which precisely with the Tornado 3 introduced the inline three-cylinder in 1999. At the same time, however, other rumors indicate that the displacement of this V4 could be 600cc, a volume more in line with the demand of the Asian and not just the Western market. Precisely in China, other manufacturers are also working to include a V4 in the range. Benda is doing it but also CF Moto as if this type of engine would somehow allow it to acquire a premium manufacturer status. 